hello dear sixth sem triple stream students welcome back into my another video hope you are all doing well how was your first paper make sure you will comment down about the management and entrepreneurship paper okay so this is the subject sensors and transducers 21 double e641 i will discuss here model wise important questions and some passing modules but let me tell you this is the diagrammatic subject and lot of theory is there so first of all focus on explaining the working principles uh, limitations advantages of the transducers and practice drawing and uh, diagrams as you already know visual aids in any engineering examinations are somehow crucial so let's start here first uh, from the passing module first i will discuss the passing module which is first module in which you have to cover some important questions like what is a transducer give brief classification about transducers and also write down the advantages of electrical transducers okay this is the first one next is explain hall effect explain displacement measurement using hall effect transducer this is super important one and what is piezoelectric effect explain working of a piezoelectric device explain the working principle of strain gauge and its applications also describe the construction and working of load cells next is explain pneumatic sensors and the proximity uh, sensors digital transducer and light sensors right next is uh, what factors should be considered when selecting sensors for a particular application differentiate between rvdt and lvdt this is all about model second as i earlier mentioned in the beginning of the video that uh, this is the diagrammatic subject so focus should be on working principles advantages and disadvantages okay so this is all about model second now let me discuss here another passing model that is model four in which you have to cover with the help of a block diagram explain the working of a telemetric system uh, define modem explain modem interfacing block diagram with a circuit diagram explain pirani vacuum gauge and uh, explain the construction and working operation of voltage telemetry system current telemetry system and position telemetry system and uh, with supporting diagrams with a neat diagram explain the operation of a pirani gauge define the following atmospheric pressure gauge pressure absolute pressure and static pressure total pressure with the help of systematic diagram so this is all about module fourth now let us discuss module fifth what is c back effect explain with a neat diagram the construction and working of a thermoelectric pyrometer and what is a dyno dynamometer explain construction and working of dc dynamometer discuss the working of lvdt linear variable differential transformer in uh, displacement measurement okay uh, explain the construction and working of electromagnetic flow meter state the applications of electromagnetic flow meter and discuss the working principle of a hot wire anemometer and how does it measure fluid velocity explain the working of a viscometer and uh, accelerometer and explain how strain gauges are used for force measurement this is all about module fifth now let's come to the module third which we are pending with now module third uh, you have to cover this question what is an opamp state the characteristics of an opmp so this is the question you already know it is uh, since from this first semester itself this question is uh, again and again appearing in the examination draw the block diagram of a, a generalized data acquisition system state objectives of it and also its applications next describe a general uh, measurement system with a neat block diagram and hence explain signal conditioning and its necessity with a neat circuit diagram explain the weighted uh, resistor digital to analog converter and explain the operation of successive approximation analog to digital converter explain the classification of the following amplifiers with examples mechanical amplifier fluid amplifier optical amplifier write a short note on cmrr common mode rejection ratio filter and filtering and r to r later uh, digital analog converters so this much content is covering a range of topics as far as your syllabus is concerned otherwise if you just observe your previous year question papers there is no repeated question as far as examinations are concerned but i have taken here a lot of important questions which will definitely appear in the examination so you have to practice well so good luck for your preparation dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your batchmates and friends thank you